Hi, welcome back to our Spanish Adventures. As you can see, today I'm back in the man cave and I'm doing the first service on Jill's Peugeot XP400 GT. The first service is due at 1,000 kilometers and I'm slightly ahead of that. I thought it was important maybe to get the oil out, change the oil filter um, a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna light the dashboard up and show you exactly how many kilometers we've done so far. It's done 890 kilometers. I've run the engine for about five minutes just to warm the oil up. Now we'll set to drain the oil, get the filter off and so on. Now, as you can see, the manual says at 1000 kilometers or 600 miles to replace the engine oil and replace the engine oil filter. Now, if you look down at the bottom of this page, there's a little star that's referred to as heavy duty servicing. Now I've classed this servicing as heavy duty because here in Spain, it is very dusty and we do ride trails. Which I'm going to also do an air filter check and clean amongst other checks on the bike. So you need a 8mm square socket to fit the drain plug and I've also got an adjustable um, oil filter wrench just to open that oil filter up. So I'm just going to crack off this nut. There we go. The manual also says to, to do all of this while it's on the centre stand. If you do that and you take the drain plug out, the oil will go all over the centre stand and go everywhere. And I think it's better to take it now off the centre stand, put it on the side stand, tilt the bike over, put my oil catcher underneath there. And um, I think I'll get the oil out better than leaving it on the centre stand. Now I've also got to just undo the filler plug for the oil. So we let some air in to the engine, so I'll just undo that. As you see, the drain plug has a magnet at the end that picks up any small metal filings. This is really good for a new engine. There's hardly anything on that, so I'm really pleased with that. Again, I think that's why it's important maybe to get the oil out sooner rather than later. Bike back on the centre stand now. So I've just caught the remaining oil from putting the bike back on the centre stand. I'll just clean the, this up here, around here with a bit of um, WD-40. Get the old oil off and out the way. Make sure there's no debris around this surface here. That's still dripping a little bit there. So we'll get the oil filter ready. So I'm using the High Flow 191 and I use the recommended Motul scooter engine oil, fully synthetic. Now I always like to, with the filter, just put a bit of fresh oil in here. And then just move it around. So we lubricate the inside of that filter. Then I also rub a little bit of fresh oil around this seal. So you don't need a lot. There we go. So we're ready now to put the filter back on. There is a torque setting, 14 newton meters, but I think hand tight and then just give it another little nip, that's sufficient. So we're now ready to put the drain plug back in. Just wipe this excess oil off here. And put that back in. Torque setting on this is 38 newton meters. I'll just tighten it up with this and then go and get my torque wrench and torque that back up. So oil quantity with a filter replacement is a total of two litres. I find it quite easy with these smaller bottles to get the oil in there without spilling it everywhere. I haven't quite put two litres in. I just, um, what I'd like to do now is put the dipstick back in there start the motor up and let the motor run for a couple of minutes. Now we'll point out also when you start it, um, engine oil check light will come on for a few seconds. So I'll run it for a few seconds, let it cool down, then I'll do an oil level check 
and the way you do that is you just put the dipstick in like that don't screw it in so just watch for the engine oil check light it may well come on <laughs> There you go. I'll run the motorcycle for about five minutes, let the oil circulate, and now I'll let it cool down. So now we'll check the oil level as it's cooled down for five minutes. And as you see, that's just halfway up the dipstick. So we'll put the rest of the oil in, which will then be the two litres complete, and that will be the oil and oil filter complete. We'll move on to the air filter next. So the air filter's in here, very easy to get to. Just need a Phillips screwdriver, take out all of these screws this just pulls away and there's a metal clip just down here holding the end of this hose on just pull it forward pull it away so that's pretty good in here it's a little bit of dust look I think looking at this now this is the paper filter that this should be changed or certainly inspected not changed every 1000 kilometers so there's a little bit of dust in here this pulls out and you can see now in there is the, the feed down, down into the engine. So that's all nice and clean, that's clean, the filter's doing its job. This is the engine side, it's all nice and clean. So what I'll do, I'll blow this out with an airline, just gently, as to not to damage the paper filter. I'll hose this out with a hose pipe and then I'll use my motorcycle dryer just to dry all this out before I reassemble it. So if you was going to put a new filter on, I believe that you get this complete thing. For some reason they don't just do this paper insert, it's the whole thing. So we just reassemble it now in reverse order. Now I find getting this back on is a little difficult to, to line this up and get this rubber tab onto the metal fitting down here. So I found it easier just to unscrew this Jubilee clip, pull off the hose and attach that on there first. Like so. And then it was easier just to push this back on like this. All these screws are the same length, so it doesn't matter where they come out from or where they go back in. And don't remember, don't forget to tighten your Jubilee clip back up. Don't remember. It's an <laughs> so that's the air filter cleaned out and sorted. So the only other thing I've got to do is check brake fluids, things like that. Um, I'll go around and check all the nuts and bolts, the spokes, everything that the manual says and probably more. So this is my service sheet. I use this for most motorcycles that I've had and the, also the quad. So I'll now fill out this, uh, making sure I've completed everything on here and also everything that's in the service manual. And at the back of the book, I will sign date, put in the kilometres and put a signature across that to say the service complete. So that's the service complete. I've already reset the clock for the next 5,000 kilometers service. Any of you that have noticed the top box, if you look at previous videos, you can see how I actually made the rack that that fits on. But for now, that's it from our Spanish adventures. Hope the video has been useful. If it has, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.